Hi everybody, my name is Dave Marsh. I'd like to welcome you to this Matrix Quick Tip Tutorial. And today we're gonna to take a look at how to quickly build a custom display. Now before we begin, I'd first like to mention that because each MLS has slightly different requirements, the system that we'll be using during this tutorial may differ slightly from the one that you're currently working with. Nevertheless, the functionality is the same and for the most part, whatever you see during this tutorial, you'll easily recognize in your own system. Now, for anyone who's already familiar with modifying the single line results grid, you already know that you can add, remove, reorder, and rename columns in real time. And then save it as a newly modified display. But for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to quickly build your own custom display from scratch, as well as how to easily modify an existing one. And we're going to begin by first accessing the My Matrix section. And from here, I'm going to select Settings from the drop-down menu. Next, I'm going to click Custom Displays. And as you can see, there's already one custom display available to modify. So now, let's quickly add a brand new one to the list by first clicking the Add button, and then naming our custom display. Next, we're going to select from the available fields list box the columns that we'd like to include in our new display. And for this short example, I'm going to limit my selection to just a handful of fields, starting with the MLS number, an address column, the city, the number of bedrooms, and bathrooms, the list price, and finally, a history, map, and photo icon. So while this can technically now be saved, first, I'm going to ensure that each of my columns are set exactly as I'd like to see them displayed. Otherwise, I'll need to come back later to modify it. All right, so with my custom display now configured, click Save, then Done to return to My Matrix. Now to view search results using your new custom display, simply generate any search, then from the display drop-down list, select the name that you previously saved it as. And if at any point you'd like to modify, copy, or delete this display, simply return to the custom display section, and then select whichever display that you'd like to manage. All right, well, this concludes this Matrix Quick Tip tutorial. I'd like to thank you for watching and hope that you can join me for another session. Take care.